our next dish is kale. I figured this would be go well with our chicken jam dish. I already smell. Mmm, smells so good. And also because I'm hungry. And I figured we'll do, you know, lunch kale, salad, vegetable dish, whatever we want to call it. Um, kale is very, very rich in vitamin K, vitamin C. Um, this is a cabbage family. I think everybody knows that you know any kale is a cabbage family. It's from named from the Dutch. It's a farm cabbage or something like that. It originated from uh, Europe, so it's all very very good for you. Chop it up. Kale is very healthy, and anybody could do this. It's a very very simple dish to make. All we need to do is water boil. Turn high. I put some salt into the water. Maybe uh, a teaspoon. We blanch this quick. Two minutes. Water's boiling, so here it goes. Go send. We'll blanch it and we will strain it. Put some cold water through it. And we can chop them up. We don't want to turn this into a darker color, so therefore we have to shack it in a cold water, very cold. It could be ice water too, if you wanted to. That's good. I'll let this thing strain. Or the garlic that I sliced up earlier while I was waiting for my cameraman. And it's in a um, frying pan, saute pan, and it goes extra virgin olive oil. Uh, there. Two tablespoons, and I put a heat on a medium heat, and with a little bit of pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper. You can use a fresh pepper grinding if you like. We let them all this garlic flavor come out, cook together with the oil that I call infused. You want to call it. Meanwhile, I will grab my kale, all drained. Take this. I was chopping a smaller piece, so easy for us to eat it later. So we could have done this earlier before we bring blanched kale. So I decided to do afterwards. So you could do either way. You choose. No problem. Nice and easy. I'll make it all up. Grab this. Actually, you know, I can't wait for my local farmers. Um, I went to visit the other day. You probably saw the little video. Our local farmers uh, growing these things. I can't wait for probably end of the May, June. I'll get local farmers to uh, uh, bring some kales. Uh, they'll make a huge difference in the taste. The taste will be fantastic. It was fresh. Pick right in that morning. Bring it to me. Oh, wow. So stay tuned. I will um, let you know when. Meanwhile, See garlic? It's a nice, it's not burnt, it's not burnt, it's not brown, it's just a golden color, it's a perfect, this is perfect. So I actually turned the heat off, so we don't want to cook any more than this. Uh, what I want to do is in this kale, I would like to put some lemon juice into this kale. I think half will do, I don't want it too tangy. Okay, and goes in a little pinch of salt. I already have salt in a garlic and oil, remember that? So we don't need a lot of oil, a little pinch. Again, a little bit of pepper. You know, I'm gonna make a little of this, I don't know, a little bit of a bite to it. Um, so what I wanna do is, I will put some red flakes. A couple pinches. I don't want it overly spicy. I don't, I just wanna have some little flavor of Spice. All right. Here it is. And what I do is I will put this right over to the salad bowl. And mix it. Look. Is that beautiful? Let me taste.
Mm, so good. It'll be really great with the chicken chin, which just smells unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't wait. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video segment. Check back for more segments like this.